of the great questions that's always asked about our people is how long have we been here? Where did we come from? Um, what is our relation to other tribal nations around us? Uh, first of all, let me say we are the Tongva, T-O-N-G-V-A, the Tongva. We're the uh, indigenous peoples of the Los Angeles Orange County basins. Now, we haven't always been here. We trace our history back to about 2000 BCE. Historically, we would have to be traced back into the great desert in the great basin area, coming up out of uh, the desert communities of Arizona, merging with whatever tribes are in there, the Ute possibly, the Paiute possibly, and then eventually coming over the mountains and into this area. Coming out of that desert and very harsh environment, we suddenly landed coming through the passes in what was paradise for us. Uh, so when, Scott, when for us, Guy Father said, this is your land, it was the land that was filled with rivers and streams, there were lakes, there were ponds, there was food everywhere. And the name we gave to all of this was Tovangar, which to us means the world. That's how we got here, over the passes, probably coming out of the Great Basin in the, south, in the southwest, probably coming up from uh, Hopi, Navajo, ancient, ancient traditions. There are still words that are related. When the church and the Spaniards came in, uh, our people were hit the hardest of all the Indians in Southern California. And we today still talk about it as an invasion. Uh, we were going peacefully about our ways. A grand culture with its religious practices, its history, its sophisticated spiritual insights, its foods and its traditions. And into this basin early, uh, late 1500s and then in the 1600s, the first ships arrived. They didn't know what these were. These were strange beings. On great canoes with huge wings and we went out to them in our canoes the spaniards wrote down how fascinated they were by us that we danced uh in a rather for them what well, they considered rather obscenely and they were very upset with us they went on their way hundreds of years passed but finally in 1769 when the church and state began to found the mission chain that was the beginning of the downfall to think about it our language was taken it has only been within the last five years that we've begun to reconstruct our language. Tongva was almost eliminated. It survived secretly in households, went underground. We all learned Spanish to survive. Our food changed. Our religion was ridiculed, and we were forced into a new way. We were also a society of fiercely independent villages. There was no solid nation as such. Each individual village was democratically established. Everyone voted. But because each village was independent, when the Spaniards arrived, it was very difficult for the, for the indigenous peoples, for the Tongva, to organize into some type of nation to battle the Spaniards. Village by village was struck down. Places like Sibangna, Chukishingna, Povungna, all of these villages were systematically, one after another, simply wiped out. We had no rights. We could not appeal in any court. If we were attacked, we could not defend ourselves. The land was taken, the land was fenced off. We could no longer hunt, we could no longer gather our foods, our women could no longer gather the reeds for baskets. We became Spanishized, we became Mexicanized, we became Gutierrez, Jimenez, Acuna, Machado, and so forth. Disappeared slowly into that fabric of Mexican life. And many people thought we had disappeared, that we were extinct. If you look up the textbooks of history books of the state of California, up to about 10 years ago, we are declared extinct. We always wondered, wow! And I always tell my, my grandmother, Abuelita, are we really extinct? And she'd say, no. Cállate, 
Somos Indios. And that's all she would say. And that's the way we, we kept it hidden. Our grandparents kept the language. Our grandparents kept the old ways. About five years ago, we were tired of it. Much of the resurrection began. We now speak our language freely. We dance our dances freely. We celebrate openly. Uh, we attend festivities such as these, always representing that we are here and that we have survived. And so we welcome you in many ways to Tovangar, to our land. Yeah!